So we are asked to find I0 using mass analysis in this problem and because we are start we are asked to use mass analysis let's draw the loop oh, I will draw the loop here here as a loop 1 here as loop 2 here as loop 3 and here as loop 4 and now let's start at loop 1 Yeah, let's start at loop 1 now here we have a current source here so the current source is going to the right to the right but the the our loop here the loop is going to the opposite direction of this current source so i can i can use this value of current source here but the direction is opposite of it so it's minus 5 ampere here in the loop 1 and okay let's move to loop 2 for loop 2 loop 3 and loop 4 we will use KVL okay KVL stated that the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to 0 and let's start at this resistance here so we have 1 ohm because this is resistance, we need to convert it to voltage by multiplying by the current that pass through it. So the current that pass through this is I2 here, but it's also passed by I1. So it is I2 minus I1 plus this current here, this resistance here, I mean 2, and we need to multiply it by... I2 and minus I4 and this is voltage source it's already voltage and it's passed through it's passed from negative to positive to negative so the sign is positive and the last one is this 4 ohm resistance and the only current that passed through it is I2 so here and that will equal to zero and we can erase this one here so i will have i2 minus i1 minus i1 i1 is minus five so we will have plus five and let's do this multiplication two i2 minus two i4 plus 22.5 plus 4 i2 and that will equal to 0 and now i2 plus 2 i2 plus 4 i2 it's 7 i2 and this is minus 2 i4 and 5 plus 22.5 is 27.5 and i move it to the right hand side so i will have minus 27.5 there and that will equal to zero let's save this as equation number one and now let's move on to loop number three again we use kvl here and we start from this voltage source so it's flowing from negative to positive so the sign is negative minus 60 plus and this resistance here for the only current that pass through it is i3 and this is current source which is problematic because we don't know how to convert it to voltage so i will just write it as unknown variables known as v34 now it's flowing from positive to negative so i will have 4 and i will write v34 as unknowns and this resistance here plus 2 the current that passed through it is i3 and i1 and that will be 0 so minus 60 plus 4 i3 plus 4 v34 plus 2 i3 
minus 2 i1 is equal to 0 and remember i1 is minus 5 so this can become plus 10 so minus 60 plus 4 i3 plus 4 v34 plus 2 i3 plus 10 is equal to 0 and this 4 plus 2 is 6 i3 plus 4 v why is it why is 4 there <laughs> no okay i will erase i will erase this it should be v34 sorry sorry about that so it should be v34 there is no 4 there sorry about that mistake and and this will be minus 60 plus 10 will be minus 50 minus 50 and it's going to the right hand side and it's become positive and let's save this as equation number two and now the last loop the last loop we will have first this current source here but, but it is minus to positive so the sign will be minus minus v34 and then this resistance is series so we can just sum it 3 plus 1 is 4 and the only current that passed through it is i4 and this resistance it's plus 2 and that is i4 minus i2 and that will equal to 0 and now we will have minus 2 i2 plus 6 i4 minus v34 and that will equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 3 now we have i2 i3 i4 and v34 as unknown variables and that is four variables but we only have three equations so we need one more so i will use the fact that this current source is uh, sum of this current and this current so this minus i3 minus i3 plus i4 is equal to 10 ampere and let's save this as equation number four okay we have four equations ready and let's move it here and so we can erase this mess here so the first one is 7i2 minus 2i4 is equal to sorry about this again writing errors and this one 6i3 plus v34 is equal to 60 and then this one minus 2i2 plus 6i4 minus v34 is equal to 0 and this one minus i3 plus i4 is equal to 10 and let's erase this the right hand side okay i will rewrite this uh, for the matrix form it will be 4 by 4 matrix and i will use i2 as the first variable i3 as the second i4 as the third and v34 as the fourth so here i will have seven 
0 minus 2 and 0 here so this is i2 i3 i4 and v3 4 okay and this one the first one will be 0 and the coefficient of i3 is 6 the coefficient of i4 is 0 the coefficient of v3 4 is 1 and the third equation okay for i2 it's minus 2 for i3 is 0 for i4 it's 6 and for v3 4 it's minus 1 and the last one will be 0 here for i2 minus 1 for i3 1 for i4 and v3 4 will be 0 and this will equal to the right hand side minus 27.5 and then 50 and then 0 and then 10 so this is 4 by 4 matrix so solving this will by hand will take very long time so I will use MATLAB and the most important things is to solve for I2 because here we are asked to find I0 and I0 is I2 I mean not I2 I0 is I1 minus I2 and I1 is minus 5 minus I2 and this I2 is solution from this matrix here and from MATLAB we can get that I2 is you can prove it using MATLAB so I2 is 1 0.375 so this value let's plug it here it's minus 5 minus 1.375 so we will have the final answer i0 i0 is equal to minus 6.375 ampere so this is our final answer and you can verify these equations by using MATLAB and this will be your final answer okay thank you for watching